Hey, just I'm pausing the recording real quick here. Someone had asked what was really in this block because supposedly if there's a coin on top, it takes away the item in it. So we're gonna see what was in it real quick. And it looks like nothing was in that block. So let's see what was in the other two. All right, he was right. There was a there was a star man in that block normally. And there wasn't before, so yeah. That was a good find. I forgot what your name was, but it was a good find, dude. Aw oh, man, I was hoping for a warp zone or something. So yeah, back to pausing it. Alright, so I thought I'd record this. You might remember last time I was on World 2-3, I went in that pipe. Instead of going this way, so I thought I'd just show you what happens if you go this way so it looks pretty much like the other way is just kind of a detour so yeah I guess you just yeah it's back to the goal so and if I remember correctly I went up into that pipe last time I played this castle so I'm gonna see what happens if you go this way So yeah, pretty much leads to Bowser. So And here's another split paths. I think the first time I did this level I went in there and it took me above water to a flying cheap cheap stage. So this time I'm gonna do this path. And it looks like the other path was just a shortcut to this. So and now we have one more from last episode. I didn't do this stage the normal way. I went up there. So let's see what happens this way. So it looks like it's suddenly daytime. Got some Goombas coming down. A little pipe under the water there. It's pretty nice. And the uh, kind of big jump. Not too many enemies though, so... And now we got some Koopas coming, so, so much for that. A little flat section here. Some Goombas. Kind of mushroom style jumps. A little bit of tricky platforming here, and a pipe. And it looks like that leads back to the shortcut. So I think that's about it until I get back. So yeah, I think we're about back where we were after my game over. So let's go. Or maybe it was the the next jump. Oh well. Yeah, I'm doing a little better this time. I think I have three lives instead of just one. So that's good. Um, This jump if I remember, it was kind of confusing because the the one behind it, yeah, it's a little lower. So I don't even know if I I should try and use that one. I think I'm just gonna yeah, I just do that. It's kind of a little bit tricky. This game's getting a little tougher, especially this type of jump here. <laughs> Let's just see how it goes. All right. Not much time left either, but I think this should be right near me. Are you serious? Oh, well. <sighs> well, let's give it another go. And we're back. So yeah, let's see if I can not just run off the edge here. Right at the end of the level. Wow, World 4 is giving me a lot of trouble. So, World 4-3. Once World 4 is done, we'll be halfway done with the game. Even though it feels like... Wow, this game is definitely getting... Yeah, more difficult. So, it's going to be pretty tough. Two lives left. one of those 
Toad's dual jumping style levels. Man, I hate these platform jumps. Alright, good. I was hoping for that. So yeah, just kind of chilling up above the sky on all these toadstools, you know, just jumping around, kicking some shells, why not? Alright, looks like this is one of those tricky style ones. That, that should be good enough. There we go. Oh. Alright, let's see what's up here. It's kind of a strange palette, but I guess it's kind of cool. A little bit of coins. Yeah, evidently in Super Mario Bros, they didn't have the ability to make like walk through objects that you could stand on because even clouds are solid. Unless they thought, they just kind of thought clouds were a solid type, I guess. I don't know. So, a nice little. Nice little bonus area here, except for that pipe doesn't have an exit. What's going on? Can you go back down this? You can't? Alright then. I guess I gotta remember not to go up here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way out of this. I'm just gonna cut the recording and then come back after I die. DEATH! So, I guess the, the moral of the story here is don't trust a vine just sitting out in the open. Because that was a dirty little trap. But I guess in some ways it makes sense because you're already up high in the sky anyway. It's like, who, who climbs another vine? We're already up on toadstools. Anyway, so, World 4-3 is done. Got a little bit of explosions going on there. 4-4, four, four, the castle, one life. Let's, let's do it. Got a little bit of a potobo jumping up even though there's no, no lava there. So, let's see what's... Oh man, it's one of those castles where you have to kind of guess which way you're going. So I'm going to say up. Up, down, off. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like about these is if you're bad at guessing, then it's like you're pretty much screwed because the time limit will just run out on you. So I guess it's it's up, up. I'm going to get that guy off the screen. Well, I guess this one, though, I could have pretty much seen beforehand because you already see that pipe there. So up, up. I'm gonna say down, up, up, down. Alright, up, up, down. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, wait. This isn't, where am I? This isn't the start. Oh, well. It's probably just like an extended area. Hud, Hudson, Hudson. It's nice to know. Yeah. Alright, made it over. So, today was a long day. World 4 is done. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. And yeah, we're halfway done with the game. It's already starting to get really hard. So, this was Tatenga, and I hope you enjoyed it.